Welcome back to Adventures with Rosie. Bit of a DIY video for you today. We are going to winterize our Jayco Journey RV and we're going to do so with a load of this. All right, so what the heck is this stuff? Well, this is pipe insulation. Uh, lagging, it's also called pipe lagging. And um, you may be thinking, why on earth are you going to crawl around under the caravan and insulate your pipes? Um, some of you might know that we're getting back on the road tomorrow actually. Uh, I'm leaving this video a bit late. But tomorrow we're heading back down and we're heading down to Queenstown, Wanaka area uh, of the South Island. It's pretty cold there, they're starting to get some snow and that sort of thing. And we had a bit of a live stream last Saturday. We have live streams every couple of Saturdays by the way if you're keen. Um, subscribe and you'll get the notifications about live streams. And we kind of discussed pipes freezing. and. Some people in the live stream said, don't worry about it, your pipes won't freeze, you won't have any issues. And then some people said, no, you will have issues. We've had issues with uh, connectors bursting and that sort of thing when you get cold weather. Um, now there is a plumber by the name of James who watches this uh, channel, hi James. He's my go-to guy for plumbing. <laughs> and uh, he watched the live stream and messaged me and he said, hey, for the sake of like $40 of lagging, uh, it might save you a bunch of headaches um, when you're down there. So I went out and picked up some uh, lagging. This is 13 by 13 millimeter uh, pipe lagging. I bought this from Bunnings. You get a length of it for uh, about $4, I think, meter lengths. Um, now James did point out to me that there is a really good type of lagging that is pre-cut, so it's split down. So basically what you do is you open it up like a hot dog bun and you put your pipe in it and then you close it back up. Now some places do pre-split lagging that have an adhesive sticky that you just peel off on the inside like double-sided tape and you stick it up over your pipes. I left this video a bit late and I ran around all the hardware stores in Topol including Plumbing World and none of them had this size lagging in the sticky stuff which is a shame. Um, I found this brand at Bunnings. It's kind of soft and foamy. Um, yeah, quite, quite dense sort of foam, but it's quite malleable. I did see another uh, brand of this stuff that was half the price. Um, you actually got a two liter length, two meter length rather, for the same price. But it felt kind of like um, pool noodle material. It was quite coarse, it wasn't as malleable, and I knew I was gonna have a harder time with it. So I went for this stuff. So basically what we're gonna do, cut a whole lot of these in half, stick them up under the pipes in the caravan, and both the hot water lines and the cold water lines and around the uh, fittings and stuff and then hopefully if we have some heavy frosts down south we won't fingers crossed we will not uh, have any pipes freeze or cracks or anything like that any pipes burst basically <laughs> um, so yeah that's the plan for today all right so this is a very technical drawing of our caravan um, we have two fresh water tanks up the front. This is all to scale, bear in mind. And um, these tanks, fresh water tanks, are connected together. They have water fillers coming in, so there's pipes that come in there to fill them up. From here there is a, a pipe that comes out into the pump, which is under our bed. Also a hot water cylinder. And from the pump and the hot water cylinder, there are pairs of pipes running back. So there is a hot pipe running back to our kitchen sink and a cold one that runs alongside it. There is also one that runs back to the bathroom sink, hot one as well, and one that runs back to the shower. We think these ones actually might split off each other here. So first things first, we're gonna basically just trace the way the water comes in. Um, this bit of the caravan here, I like to refer to as the bird's nest, but there are a lot of pipes in there. Um, there's also obviously a gas line that runs down through here for the fridge. Um, there's the diesel heater uh, lives about here. There's fuel lines for that. So we're going to tackle the bird's nest. Um, there's some thicker pipes in there for the water fillers that we need to insulate. And then we're basically going to work our way towards the pump and then work our way back down. Save the best for last because these are um, long pipes through here across the width of the caravan and back down to the shower. There's not much in the way of those. So we'll start with the tricky bit first and then get to the easy stuff. I've actually enlisted the help of my brother who is in town today visiting and he's uh, had his flight delayed so he's here for a few more hours so he's keen to tackle this bit 
and I'll come down here and have a look at this bit. So yeah, we're gonna figure it out as we go along basically. There's a lot going on under this caravan. All right, so the first bit of pipe we're gonna tackle is this filler hose here for the two fresh water tanks. We've got one tank here and one tank back there. And this thicker hose is what fills them up. So there is resi residual water in those hoses, especially down the ends. So we're gonna use that slightly bigger um, insulation to cover all of that. And then we're gonna basically follow it through the whole system. Well, it's pretty evident that A, this is going to be an interesting job. Those pipes go all over the place and are obviously screwed to the frame and screwed to the bottom. So a bit of monkeying around and B, it's not going to look that pretty. Um, this is another one of those mods that's not made to look pretty though. This is purely functional. So yeah, it's going to be a lot of sort of shorter bits. Um, there are some runs of pipe down the back of the caravan where it goes for like a meter or two. Um, in a straight line with nothing in the way but up the front here by the tanks it's a it's a rabbit warren so we'll do the best we can well i think i severely underestimated how much work this was going to be um, i'm pretty happy with how it's looking um, my brother and i spent a good few hours on it then he had to catch his plane and then i went out in the evening in the dark with my headlamp on and i did another hour or so and I've made it kind of as far as the back wheel of the caravan, so I've got maybe another meter and a half to go. Um, but yeah, I'm having nightmares about this stuff. It's the bane of my existence at the moment. We're actually on the road now. Um, we have been on the road for a week. We are in the South Island and we are driving towards that colder weather. The whole reason I'm doing this. Um, we're about two days away from the Queenstown Wanaka area where we're going to be for the next couple of weeks. So, I have an hour of daylight left today. We're in a little paddock in the middle of nowhere, a place called Ealing. Um, hour of daylight left, it's flipping cold outside. <laughs> but I think I'm just gonna have to uh, put my long johns on and get under the caravan and get the rest sorted. Um, the back of the caravan is like the runs to the shower is all pretty straightforward. It's all um, big straight, you know, runs of pipe. So, shouldn't take me too long. I'm gonna tackle that now. And then, um, yeah, I'll give you my thoughts at the end on pipe lagging because at the moment, I don't like it. All right, a little bit hard to see under here, sorry, but um, you can see my two pipes there, the white pipe and this black one coming through. They come through the these cutouts in the, uh, the chassis steel there. Um, so yeah, that's, I've come all the way down here. Um, they split off here for the uh, sink. The bathroom sink is there and then they go back down towards the shower. It's a little bit fiddly around this bit here, got a couple of little short runs of pipe here. Um, and then yeah, another meter and a half to go to the shower and we are done. Alright, so the lagging is done and dusted. I'm kind of glad to see the end of that job. Um, yesterday, when I was doing that last little bit, I didn't have the caravan up on the leveling ramps. So it wasn't as high, it was quite kind of awkward up under there. Um, but it's done. And I think I did it just in time because you can probably see behind me that there is a bunch of ice on the ground here in Lake Tekapur. We had negative four overnight. 
caravan absolutely covered in ice, windows frozen shut, the door was frozen shut this morning, we couldn't actually get out of the door and waited until the sun came out and heated the door up a bit. Um, so yeah, had a super cold night last night. I think it was zero degrees by about 6.30 at night, um, so like dinner time, and it's zero degrees already, and crunchy out on the grass, so I'm glad we did it. Um, last night what we did was open our, we turned our pump off and we opened our taps up and we let the residual water kind of flow out, and then this morning when we got up, turned the pump back on and everything was working. Nothing froze. So the lagging obviously, I'm not kind of a hundred, I suppose I should say I'm not really a hundred percent sure it's something you must do, it's going to help, it's going to stop freezing, but I think it's going to help. I don't know if it'll completely stop it, I don't know how effective it is, um, but I think for us camping in this sort of weather and you know it's supposed to get down to negative six tonight, I think it can't hurt. Um, so yeah. I mean for the sake of, I think I spent about 40 or 50 dollars all up on the lagging and a bag of zip ties, um, cable ties, so yeah and a bit of time right, so uh, yeah I think if you're going to camp in environments like this then go ahead and do it, I think it's a good idea, um, but yeah, yeah just a bit fiddly that's all. Um, if you'd like to know anything or you got any questions about what I did then fire them away below. Um, the next video we're actually going to start our adventure down to where we are now here in uh, the kind of middle uh, Queenstown, Wanaka, Lake Tekapo area of the South Island. So make sure you subscribe and, and come along for that adventure. The video will be out in a few days. And um, yeah, thank you as always for watching. Appreciate the support. See you later.